Even if you can't log in, that's crazy. You still keep been looking forward to for so quite much. some time. Go, I guess. Let's check out this uh, 1.2 special program. This is what's upcoming. Now, this patch is gonna be difficult for me because I'm on both of the characters, but we'll see what happens. Hi there, proxies. Welcome to the Zelda Zone Zero version 1.2 special program. Continuing from our last update featuring the demolition case that caused quite a stir, the whereabouts of our main suspect, Pearlman, remain unknown. I'm gonna continue the story. But there are rumors claiming that he's fled to the outer ring. And so, today's program is also coming to you from the boundless outer ring. Huh? Who am I? Well, um. I'm the intelligence broker with the hottest gossip on the scene, Mr. Z. Um. As Why is the see, talking the properly? Open reaches of the outer ring play host to this update's is that Laura story, the tour at the inferno. <laughs> Speaking of the outer ring, I am sure you have all seen the sons of Caladon who operate at the fringes of New Eridu. They own a powerful logistics company by the name of Leaps and Bounds, which can handle deliveries through hollows. Perhaps a few of you proxies have already run into some of their team. Today, we have invited two new friends from the Sons of Caladon to join the program. Let's give a warm welcome okay. to Caesar, the young leader of a legendary biker gang, and Bernice, the master mixologist from Bernice. the Outer Ring. But, uh, they're still not here. Because the name expected. is actually Burn Ice, so I thought we would pronounce it Burn Ice. Burn Ice, something Farmer. like that. Something like that. Looks like it's all up to me to tell you about the new content in this version. So here we are, I guess. Let's get things started. First up is. Is this the place? Hey, where's Mr. Z? Oh, don't tell me he's late. Um, <clears throat> I'm over here. Huh? Ah, you all good, Mr. Z? Well, you, oh, you are a little late, and I don't remember your interest being like that in the script. Hey, our way is much cooler. All right, guess that's why you're the most badass biker gaming leaders in logistics in the outer ring. Mm -hmm. Why don't we say hi to the leaders Leaders in now? logistics. Hey there. Yes. I'm Caesar. Happy to be on the show today. Hey, Proxies, I'm Bernice. Today, together with Mr. Z, we're going to walk you through the new content in version 1.2. <laughs> Thanks for showing up on time, you two. Now, without further ado, let's get started. All right, all you all right it's time for the trip. There's gonna be sick already. Now. Around, you give me like Borderlands vibes. Loki. Okay. What are we doing here? It's a bit of a weird one. Time for a formal introduction. We're the sons of Caledon. I'm the current boss. Okay. Caesar. Caesar. Nice. I won't budge. Even one step. I'm not that sure much has any gameplay. Like relevancy, I guess. Can she just has a flame throw? Ready for a fiery feat? <laughs> She's like a more fire soldier. Eleven. <laughs> a significant increase in ether concentration near okay. Cinder Glow Lake has been detected. Who's this guy? The weak and the worthless have no place in this age. With the power of ether. I will establish a new order in this leaderless outer ring. A kingdom completely under my control. Damn. And that's an enemy. Kinda look you better than the infernal rider from other ways. Leave it to me. <laughs> what? How you shield? There has to be another, like a new notorious hunt, hunt right? 
That looks, that looks crazy. It appears that the wide that they open cooked again. Of the oh my god. Actually has an underground side to it. That's crazy. And when it comes to this place, I'm sure you two are the experts. Could you please give the proxies some insight here? Mm-hmm. Leave it to me. The outer ring is what people call this underdeveloped zone outside the main urban area of New Eridu. It's farther out than okay. both Janus and Faunus quarters, and closer to this desert wilderness. But you don't get to see inside the city. And while it may not be as rich as the big city, it's blessed with a unique local asset. Oil! Shit. That's right. That's this crazy. was the fuel resource used during the old civilization. Not to the the ring, people don't use etheric matter, but instead rely on oil to sustain themselves. Okay. While also selling some off to companies in New Eridu. After the old capital fell, folks came out here to start fresh, escape from old memories, and of course, some just want to hide from PubSec. It's not like in the city. The vast outer ring has people peppered around and supplies scattered about. So it's up to the biker gangs to get supplies to the locals. Biker gangs are highly trusted in the outer ring. So they've also got the best intel around. If you want to survive cool. out here, you'll need them. Nice. Sounds to me like they're the ultimate messengers in the outer ring. Of course. And among all the biker gangs, the sons of Caledon are the best around. <laughs> yeah. Wait, we are? Well, nevertheless, but they won't be like Dumbledore, but they both just look cool. Certainly made a like just straight up in terms of like the whole biker all, aesthetic thing. Can handle the job of transporting it's supplies cool. through high risk hollows. Yep. If you want a pro job done, just leave it up to the pros. Yep. And as you might have guessed, we're called a biker gang for a reason. We all yeah, because they go for motorcycles. In this version's adventure, like specialists. proxies will also get to experience the thrill and joy of riding a motorcycle. Vroom, vroom. That's crazy. Yep, skis. Come race with us in the outer ring. And as the baddest biker gang I'm around, janky this gonna we got loads of members. It looks so okay. cute. biggest baddie is the young leader of the Sons of Caledon. Caesar. Hey. We're talking fame. The, You're clearly the real star here. The movement as always. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just your average mixologist running the underground drink crazy. operation. As for what kinds of drinks for Niso? Well, we're not really at liberty to say right now. I'm going to make both of them man. Famous throughout the outer ring. <sighs> Plus, there's Piper and Lucy. You've already met. They're members of the gang too. That's right. True. Piper is the best truck driver around these parts. And Lucy, she's our top supervisor. Speaking of Lucy, she's also always she has so competitive the with Caesar for some reason. If you come to the outer ring proxies, you'll probably catch those two squaring off. Well, here's a friendly tip from a kind gentleman in sunglasses. Don't play referee and try not to get caught in the crossfire. <sighs> Crossfire? Don't listen to Lighter's nonsense. Speaking of Lighter, you'll be meeting him too. He'll be facing a pretty tough opponent this time around. Dang. Now that you mention it, the okay. sons of Caledon must have some serious competition in the outer ring, right? It's the new That's for sure. Bad Even guy. We're all part of the Motor League. I guess. We're not exactly all on the same team. Biker gangs tend to cooperate and compete with each other at the same time out here. Take the Vanquishers, for example. They're our biggest rivals. We sons of Caledon have got a score to settle with them. Oh yeah, time to settle the score. But for Damn. the sake of the current overlord, Pompey, now's not the, the time. For is a common word. Speaking of Pompey, that was crazy. everyone in the outer ring's been saying they haven't seen him for a while, and nobody knows what he's They're been coming up both to. Ways. <laughs> One day, he's gonna have to give up his position as overlord. Overlord, huh? Sounds pretty badass. You know it. And it's not the kind of title that just anyone in the outer ring can have. The oil industry runs the old oil field out here, and the whole shebang relies on support from the Motor League. The Overlord's the strongest among the bikers. These glasses are so bad. As the head of the Motor League, the Overlord wields their power to. Uh, wields their power to. What was it again? I'm going to over the, over the lore. Lucy tell you to memorize all those the lines story. like a thousand Smart. times before coming here? <clears throat> Anyways, the Overlord wields the power to designate transport routes as the boss of the Motor League. 
which is a huge boon. It's like super powerful, like a mixologist with a whole barrel of pure undiluted nitro fuel. Yup, since every biker wants to be the overlord, we had to find a way to see who's the winner. So we came up with the Cross Hollow Motor Race, the Torch Inferno. A race? Sounds the like we can expect to see some real cutthroat sure, and underhanded Some like banded bikers will what come up with a name. Cutthroat and underhanded. Whoever wins or loses is decided fair and square. I heard there's a famous legend about the Tort Inferno in the Outer Ring. So, I have a feeling things Damn. aren't as simple as they oh, sound. That's... Caesar that's pretty cool. and Bernice some nice art. a ton of work to prepare for the Torti Inferno. And since I am an intelligence broker, I've kept dossiers on you two for quite a while now. Oh, uh, yeah? Let's see what it says about me. Oh, come on. Don't leave us hanging. Caesar King, the most badass rider in the outer ring. An S-ranked physical defense agent, adapt at using both sword and shield in combat. Defense. Okay. When the enemy launches an attack, if Caesar successfully blocks it with her shield, it triggers a perfect block, allowing her to negate the damage and immediately follow up with the next move of a special attack or EX special attack. When she triggers a perfect block, defensive assist, or meets other certain requirements, she applies debuffs to surrounding enemies, allowing her squad members to deal more damage to them. Play it right, and it can be a slick way to attack and debuff at the same time. That's correct. When Caesar is in combat, she can protect on-field squad members and boost their anti-interrupt level by providing a shield with her EX special attack, chain attack, and ultimate. When launching her ult, Caesar what? swings her shield and charges into the battlefield in the Overlord's Grace Dance, the undamaged enemy. Yep, I might be a defense agent, but that's because it's what I'm best at. I still know how to make the pain rain. That's Caesar for you. Shield is damage. And strike back twice as hard. How is her team gonna look like? What the <laughs> fuck? Can't be a leader if you Damn, don't that art though. Shit. Absolutely. Now let's take That's a look crazy. at Miss Bernice's files. Miss Bernice is okay. an S rank fire anomaly agent who fights with jewel fire anomaly. Okay. <laughs> Mixer and Shaker are simply too hot to handle. When in combat, Bernice alternates between her two flamethrowers, Mixer and Shaker. Damn, she just cooking though. While using Straight her up. Move to dodge enemy attacks. If needed, Miss Bernice can also okay, that seems like kind of fun to play on the level. Blazing hot flames from both flamethrowers in a short burst, dealing massive damage and inflicting fire anomaly buildup. It's worth noting that when Bernice builds up enough heat, she enters the nitro fuel cocktail state. In this state, when a teammate's attack hits an enemy, it triggers afterburn, dealing an extra instance of fire damage. In battle, Bernice can use her EX special attack to quickly burn enemies while stacking up oh heat that to trigger the nitro fuel cocktail stick. Even if you switch to another agent, the afterburn effect continues to trigger, steadily accumulating fire what anomaly was that? on enemies. When the decibel rating is maxed out, she can unleash her ult, jumping into the air and raining down a storm of flames on her enemies. <laughs> Someone's here to challenge you? I'll help! <laughs> Such a buff chain, though, but who the third character be on the team? Still a force of nature on her own. She sure is. Before she joined the Sons of Caledon, there was a time when Miss Bernice worked alone. Now, I don't know, I but I don't think, think there is anyone. I've always felt like Bernice her team is gonna so look weird as well. To everyone around her. I mean, it's gonna be a four star that just holds all the issues. Away all your troubles in one go. With her flamethrowers. I'm just back on Lucy, but. Perfect friend. <laughs> as long as she never whips you up a meal with mixer and shaker. <laughs> Bernice Piper down, and. Just have a Bernie special. You will also Maybe all three of them together. Bernie's Piper and Caesar. During which you can discover her Piper bright and Lucy. optimistic side and deepen your friendship. Bernice has also prepared a surprise for you. We'll leave it to you to find Damn. out what it is. Okay. As for Caesar, she's the kind of person who just naturally oozes leadership vibes. That's right. Caesar's pretty reliable 95% of the time. Whenever there's an argument, she always knows how to get people to come around. Come around? You mean violently? And what about that last 5%? Yeah, if you got fragile stuff that you treasure, like expensive skincare products, you better keep it out of Caesar's reach. No wonder Lucy roasts you every chance she gets. You totally deserve it. And every good roast has to burn. 
<laughs> Looks like members of the Sons of Caledon get along pretty well. <laughs> of course. But while we're discussing a couple of Sons of Caledon members, let's not forget about our comrade in arms, Red Marcus. Ah, that's right. As a member of the Sons of Caledon, you can find Red Marcus dressed in leather riding a custom bike in the battle. When They're Red Marcus their own launches his bamboo. chain attack, it okay. charges at the enemy on a spike, steamrolling them and triggering a powerful explosion. Well, we've covered a lot of content already, but now we're finally at my favorite part. In version 1.2, proxies will have a chance to recruit Caesar and Bernice as their agents from the exclusive channels Amber Crowned Overlord and Born to Burn. In the first half of this version signal search, okay. proxies will be able to obtain the limited S rank agent Caesar and W engine, and well. -rank w engine Tusks of Fury. Both will be available in their respective channels. Right. <sighs> we look forward to working with you, Faithen. And in the second half, Miss Bernice will be making her appearance in her own I think both look sick, man. I'm scared. -rank agent I have to get lucky. -rank w engine if there was a patch to get lucky, this is it. Yeah, yeah. Time to show Please, off your man. power move. I'm so lucky, man. Zenless on zero for that. Come on, man. Red Marcus will also this is my be time to shine. The new version. All right. I think it's about time for us I go lucky in Hulk. I started 1.1. I go lucky. No, 1.0 actually. I go like in Warrior Moves 1.2. I have time for Zenith 0. 1.2, come on. Man. Nice. Yeah, I already picked this up. Zenith is gonna expire if I didn't get it. Oh, the music for Caesar, that was sick. the exciting main storyline, there will also be many fun events that you won't want to miss in version 1.2. It all started in a diner in the outer ring. Oh? Isn't this Blazewood? That's right. During the Overlord's Feast event, proxies will take on a commission from the mayor of Blazewood oh, Lucy, and copy. an old diner. Working as staff, nice. you'll handle everything from serving guests to cooking in the kitchen. While running the diner, proxies will learn a lot of interesting stuff about the Outer Ring, including some fun stories about the agents from the Sons of Caledon. Also, as a reward, proxies will get to contract A-Rank Agent Lucy. <laughs> now it's your turn, proxies. Brace yourselves for some classic I think I have a lucky like, one. Says. Sounds pretty cool. Next up, a new mini game called Bizarre Brigade will be available oh, at mini Ash's games. Arcade. As far as I yeah, know, that's one thing that I need to do, man. To get polychromes. I just like. With the friends you meet along the way. Oh my god, vampire survivors. Players can get a variety of random items during the different exploration oh, stages, man. which will have a huge and impact sick on as the well. fighting style ability to survive. Ooh, man, this match is like kind of cooking. I'm not gonna lie. There's it's so many like of these like game modes in this game. Oh my god! By completing the event, proxies will also be able to unlock more new yeah, characters someone's. in the mini game. Additionally, in the event roaming the ether, oh, proxies will sick, receive man. a vintage computer terminal from the old civilization that the cunning hair salvaged from Hollow Zero. Nicole reckons there's some super important info stashed inside. Nicole's gifts always keep me on my toes. <laughs> okay. I wonder what that info could be. Yeah, who knows? It will be up to the proxies and fairy to find out. Now, let's switch things up and head back to and New York for some though. fun and casual activities. Psst! There will be hidden puzzles at the newsstand for you to discover. You heard her right, proxies. You'll be able to join the Redo Tours puzzle event at the newsstand and unlock different puzzles which depict some interesting stories about New Eridu. Oh! And you'll also be able to earn polychromes and name cards as rewards for completing the event. Speaking of which, One for One Convenience Store is leading the way in setting up a neighborhood night market, right? Oh yeah. Hey. Looks like I'm not the only one with an insight. Oh, it's gonna be the same thing you know as in 1.0. Anyway, Shaw will work with proxies to bring this market together. Yeah. If you manage to complete cool. the tasks, then there will be some fantastic rewards to thank you for helping out. Ooh, ooh. Besides this casual event, we have also added a new series of combat commissions in version 1.2. So be sure okay. to check those out if you're interested. 
Additionally, there will be some new challenges winning a notorious hunt and an expert it. challenge for proxies to try out in the no new way version. She in and that. that's not oh all. We God. also have new drive discs coming in this update. Chaos Jazz and Protopunk. Proxies can obtain the I feel like my account is like cooked, man. Oh to my proxies God. with There's a better so much experience, happening. version 1.2 will have a limited time event where you can obtain double the drops. So you okay, should be able nice. to get your hands on the materials you need in okay. no time. Don't forget, we've yeah, also got sure. other events lined up waiting for you all to discover that are just as cool. More shiny different stuff. There'll be some fun new game modes in version 1.2. That's right. I need to look and play this game before this version comes out. Training course what the will fuck? become available in version 1.2. This mode Lord. offers four different <laughs> courses where you can get a taste of what it's like to be a hollow investigator and learn some basic and practical knowledge about hollow exploration. Yeah. Each combat course will offer buffs tailored to different factions, and you will even get to use agents you don't own yet to take on formidable enemies. That's pretty cool. And there's more. After unlocking the tactical course, you can assign your agents to undergo continuous tactical exercises in simulated hollow environments, earning experience along the way. Yep, sounds neato burrito. Now, even newly recruited agents can keep up with the team's progress. Meanwhile, uh -huh, there are I see. also some okay, new changes coming to Hollow Zero. We have already Don't lowered the requirements for unlocking Withering Garden in version 1.1. Now, there are no more level requirements. Proxies can unlock it by completing the prerequisite stages. In version 1.2, oh. we're introducing a new blitz mode. Why I didn't even know that was a thing. This mode allows you to dive straight into combat and rack up your weekly investigation points without having to explore the TV board. After each fight, you'll earn a Rizonium surprise box with several Rizonia of the same type. For those who love a challenge, you can choose different modifiers to crank up the difficulty. Just a heads up, you'll earn extra investigation points for doing so, and we have added okay. this feature to exploration mode as well. Naturally, the harder the challenge, the greater the rewards. We hope you all find the experience you're looking for and have a blast. Uh, so that's what's After okay. The update, Proxies can check in okay, and collect 10 encrypted master tips and 10 Fuck. coupons. Awesome! Incredible! I heard Mr. Z's got some exclusive intel up his sleeve. Damn, about some game spinning up on Z like proxies that. Have been discussing lately. So, a fill us like in with that. all the deets, please, Mr. Z. First, let's take a look at the optimization of the HDD monitor array, commonly known as TV mode. Now, for proxies who have already completed so and sad for TV modes, man. For commissions that it's exactly like you're phased out of the game. Fairy will help you retrieve any mm -hmm. unclaimed observation data and rewards from previous attempts if you're willing to give her some time. In other words, you only need to explore the board once to collect all the rewards. In addition, we have optimized the TV mode to make everything feel smoother. Some event animations will play faster and you'll be able to skip certain parts. We've also adjusted the interactions for some common events, cutting down on the number of close-up scenes. Overall, there are many improvements to the TV board experience in the new version, and you'll definitely notice the difference. Righto. Meanwhile, we're I mean, also yeah. releasing a I mean, I battery like it, in but like... new update. That's good news for busy people. Even if you can't log in, That's crazy. you still keep building up battery <laughs> charge. And when you finally have some free time, you can use all that stamina you've collected. Precisely. Next up is a feature I've been looking forward to for so quite much. some time. Mm-hmm. Tell it to my face. We have updated the squad configuration system to let proxies save and oh, use preset yes. squads. You can jump That's straight crazy. into combat with your preset squad right from the deployment interface. On top of that, you can also decide whether or not to bring a bamboo into battle. At the same time, we have also introduced a new feature to quickly switch squads in Shu defense. Ooh, Yo, so the experience is getting smoother cooking. and smoother. Heck yeah! Damn. You need to manually change squads every time. Mm -hmm. yes. I've been looking forward to this update for a while, but I remember last time someone said something about playing as agents inside the city. So... How's that all coming along? In version 1.2, proxies will get to explore new Eridu from the perspective of Caesar and Bernice. But that's not all. You'll also be able to switch freely between Wise and Bell. Choosing for chumps. You really can't have it all. And even though it won't be in the upcoming update, by version 1.4, proxies will be able to explore the city freely as any one of your agents. 
Also, once proxies complete a certain amount of the main storyline, starting from version 1.2, you'll be able to advance the clock as you wish. No longer will proxies have to worry about getting stuck due to time during a quest. And Finally. we've got even more ideas so up our sleeves that are all coming along nicely. All right. But Looks like this today's like perfect special program now, is coming to a close. Fuck. But next up we have... Wait, there's more? You betcha. We've got a little surprise for you all at the end. Let's get ready to rock! Time to lose yourselves to these sick beats. Well, dang, that's crazy. There's so much going on. God. They're bringing down the backup energy. There's so many events. God. Speeding up TVs. Spinning Apollo Zero. God. You can literally choose to not explore. Like you, in exchange for time. God. That's crazy. The new characters look sick. The trailer was sick. Yeah. They're cooking, man. They are cooking. What can I say? Crazy. <clears throat> well, there we go, I guess. Now I'm excited for this game. Actually, like, I low-key want to play, but we have other stuff to do right now. Shit. I cannot wait. Damn.